What does food really mean to us and all of civilization? Coming from a continent that is really very poor, a continent where the majority of the people you know, depends on agriculture for their livelihood and for their food security. You know, food means everything to us. With agriculture, you get your food. You put the food on the table for the people. And a healthy people that are able to get three square meals a day, you know, can contribute to the development of their nation. They are healthy, and so agriculture contributes to health. And in Africa, where we say agriculture is the backbone of economic growth, it is the engine of economic growth, then you can see that resources from agriculture also goes into feed to other sectors, health, education, et cetera, et cetera. You know, so agriculture is everything for us. And I think that for those of us, Americans, very lucky society, where you have three square meals on your table every day, you need to see people who leave going to bed night after night hungry. You know, and then you will know the importance of agriculture. So for me, agriculture is everything. You said that 70% of the people in Africa work somehow or other in the agricultural field. Mm -hmm. And you were telling us also that 60% of the income of many people in Africa is spent on food. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That, that is right. Uh, because, you see, the people that are actually doing the farming, you know, are there working in the fields. But quite a large number of other Africans, you know, need to do trading with agricultural products. They need to buy in fertilizers that gets to the farm gates. And for extra excess produce, you know, needs to go to the, to the market. You know, so about 60% uh, uh, of the people are employed in the agricultural sector. You know, and apart from that, because the majority of Africans are poor, you know, we spend up to about 70% of our income in buying food. You know, so there are two big groups of people. Those that produce and eat the food that they produce, and those that can earn some money to buy and eat the type of food that they want to eat. And I think that what we need to look at very critically is the fact that out there in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America, in the developed world generally, there are people that endure hardship, misery, because they cannot eat three square meals a day.